My name is Father Albert. I'm from a traditional Dominican community in Belgium, the Dominicans of the Holy Rosary. And I'm here at the Fatima Center to answer some of your questions. How can someone break habitual sins? To begin with, they have to pray because we need grace in order to be good. Since the fall especially, um, men have a fallen nature and we need what's called healing grace, grace that um, heals the wounds of original sin. And the only way to obtain that grace is to pray. God has set that as a law. Ask and you shall receive, our Lord says in the Gospel. But if you don't ask, you won't receive. And we need to receive. If we don't receive this grace, then we will fall, um, even though we're responsible for it. Um, and we're responsible especially because we haven't prayed. Um, so the first thing to do to stop habitual sins is to pray for help. Um, related with that also is to have recourse to the sacraments, because the sacraments are channels of grace. It's another institution uh, God um, has provided for us so that we can become holy. The sacraments, we're taught, uh, are remedies. All of the sacraments are remedies. And so we have to have recourse to the sacraments in order to remedy this tendency that we all have to sin. Another means to break habitual sins, and this is something that uh, you will be told about if, when you go to confession, and when you have recourse to the sacraments, uh, the priest, even before he will give you absolution, will ascertain whether you are ready to avoid the occasions of sin. Because although we may be weak and uh, tend to fall, we have to be willing at least to exercise our will to the, to the point that we can avoid the occasions uh, of our falls. That's it. We can at least do that, even though when put in the occasion, um, we're too weak and we fall, well, we can at least exert our will to the point of not putting ourselves in those occasions where we know we will fall. And that's something that the priest will speak to you about in confession. If you uh, confess sins that you are in the habit of, of committing, especially if they're grave sins, the priest cannot give you absolution if you refuse to, to remove the occasion of sin. For example, someone who is in uh, a marriage, which is not a true marriage. Uh, someone who's civilly remarried, for example. Um, the priest cannot give you absolution if you refuse to separate yourself from this person who is an occasion of sin. Um, if you really want to stop sinning, which is a condition to receive absolution, then you have to... Um, distance yourselves from this occasion of falling. Um, the Council of Trent speaks of this need to have recourse to prayer and the sacraments um, in order to keep God's commandments. It, it quotes St. Augustine who says um, that God does not command things that are impossible. So if there is a commandment of God, we know that it's possible for us to obey it, because God does not give commandments which are impossible. However, it can be impossible for us ourselves on our own strength to fulfill the commandment. But in that case, what we have to do is ask for God's help to keep the commandment, and he will surely give it. We may not be able to do it on our own, but we will be able to do it with God's help, and he will give it. If he's commanded us to do something, then he's going to help us to do it if we ask him, but we do have to ask him. And that's often the problem. We, especially the modern man, he wants to be, uh, he thinks he's perfect on his own, uh, and so he won't ask God for help. 
and so he won't be able to keep the commandments. And so the tendency now is to simply say, well, the commandments are tyrannical or they're, it's impossible, um, and that's simply human pride. I hope that answers your question. Um, pray to Our Lady to enlighten you, to help you. May God bless you.